Hey everyone, this is your host John Meyer. I'd like to welcome you once again to the Tech Review Cast, the only place where you can get video reviews and full demonstrations of the tech products that change the way we live our lives today. So in this episode of the Tech Review Cast, we review and demonstrate the Pulse Smart Pen by Livescribe. We go over exactly what the Pulse Smart Pen is and how it can benefit us in the long run. We also have a real world demonstration of what you can do with this device and how it can even be used with your home computer. But before any of that, let's get started with the unpacking. Alright, so here's the box of the Pulse Smart Pen. Now, let me just mention real quick, I have been testing this out over the past few weeks and it works absolutely great. Let's just get started. Okay, so when you first open the box, the first thing you'll see is a quick start guide. Behind that, there's the notebook and the support card. But like I said, I have tested this out and I use this guide and it works absolutely amazing. It's a interactive quick start guide. So what that means is that you can actually click through the various different buttons on the guide and the pen will actually talk to you and guide through through the whole setup process. Alright, so the second thing you'll see is a customer support card which just gives you the link of the customer support page and also a link to download and install the LiveScribe desktop software. Now the third thing you'll see is a starter notebook. Now this comes for free with all LiveScribe smart pens. This is one notebook that it comes with, but you're free to order as many as you want from their website. I believe they have a pack of four for around $20 at Livescribe.com. Anyway, let me just give you a quick overview of how this notebook works. This is an example of one of the pages in the book, and there's various different buttons on the bottom. But the first thing you'll see is record, pause, stop, then you have jump buttons, bookmark buttons. Uh, here you have a line right here, which, makes you, which allows you to jump to any position in the book. Then you have the playback speed and the volume. This is an interactive notebook, like I just said, in the quick start guide. This uses tiny, tiny dots. There's probably thousands of little dots in one page of this notebook. Um, what the pen does is it senses where the dots are in the notebook, and that can allow it to determine where it is in the book and uh, how you can play, play it back on the computer. Now, when you take the notebook out, you'll see that you have everything right under it. You have the smart pen right here. Let me just take this out for you. Here it is. Then you have a smart pen case. This is a really, really nice case that can come in very handy. Here you have a little plastic piece right here. So you can see the screen. And then you have a, the insert slot for the actual pen. And then on the back of that, you have a little pocket which allows you to put in additional ink cartridges and also a stylus that the pen comes with. You'll then see a USB charging cradle. This allows you to sync and charge on the computer at the same time. Of course, it's PC or Mac, and you can upload all the files that you've been using on the pen. The last thing you'll see is stereo earphones. These earphones have microphones on both sides of the earphones. It allows you to get stereo surround sound, especially if you're a big room. This can come in really, really handy. And um, it's supposed to work a lot better than the microphone that's directly on the pen. And there's also one last thing, and that is the additional ink cartridge and the stylus that you can add onto your Pulse Smart Pen. Now, since we finished the unpacking, let's get started with the review. So here's our Pulse Smart Pen. Now, this is let me just get started real quick. This is the one gigabyte model. This comes in two models, a 1GB and a 2GB. The 1GB is $149, and the 2GB model is $199 over at Livescribe.com or at any other retailer that Livescribe sells at. So before we get started with the actual review, I'm just going to go over a few of the really unique hardware features of this pen. So the, on the top, you'll see that you have the headphone jack to insert the stereo earphones. Uh, when you turn it over, the first thing you'll see is the OLED screen. Uh, on here, the most of the time you'll see is the time, then you have the button and the microphone. Right there you have the speaker, which you can play everything that you've recorded. And finally, when you turn the pen on its top, you'll see the pen tip and of course the ink cartridge. And last but not least, the most important feature of the pen is right on the top, and that is the camera that takes 72 pictures every second as it senses your writing. Alright, so here's the starter notebook that comes with the Livescribe Smart Pen. 
Now I'm just going to show you some of the features that are in this notebook and that are also in any other live scrub notebook that you may buy. So when you first open the book, you'll see that there's a bunch of things that just come right at you. The first thing that was noticeable to me was this demo card that it comes with. Now this is also an interactive demo card, just like the quick start guide. It has the special dots on it so the, pe the, so the pen can see where you're actually pressing. Now right here on this page, you have a bunch of other different things. Let me just mention this is all interactive paper right here. On here you have what looks like a scientific calculator. Down below you have the status, time, date, battery, and storage. Then right next to that you have settings. You can set the time. Uh, you have display settings, the brightness, display orientation like we did before. Then you have advanced audio, which is just some audio settings. On the bottom, you'll see that this is a keyboard. This is currently unavailable, which is uh, said on the pen if you click it. But I think they're focusing, for the keyboard, they're focusing on other third-party companies that will make some software for the pen, just like the iPhone. And now right here is basically what we just saw, but it's just a sheet of stickers that you could actually pull out and put anywhere you want. So before I turn the page, I'd just like to show you the amazing process that you go through just to set this pen up. It's absolutely amazing. So anyway, here's the quick start guide. I'm just going to go through the process real quick. It should just take a minute. Alright, so when you first open the quick start guide, the first step is obviously just to turn the pen on. So to do that, you just press this button right here. It's really just the only physical button on the pen. You just press it once and the OLED screen will light up. It just takes a few seconds to start up, but it's a very detailed screen and I really like it. All right, so now we're up and running. So here we go, here's the guide right here. So the first step we already did the second one, we could, it says we could tap the info buttons to get a little help if we still don't understand directions, which is most likely, most unlikely, but I'm just going to demonstrate to you real quick. We'll just tap it. Congratulations. With the Pulse Smart Pin, you'll never miss a word. Tap on these info buttons whenever you need more information. Alright, so there we go. It, the way this works is really, really cool. So the third step, orient your display. You're basically just picking whether you're right or left-handed. So I'm right-handed, so I'll just select that, and on the display, it just confirms it, and it says your display is set to right-handed. Alright. Now, the fourth step, set date and time. This is really, really cool. It's almost like a calculator interface, but you're basically just picking what you want to set, the date or the time, so I'll start with the date. So it wants the month, the date, and the year. I'll just put a fake date. I'll put 12... So you have that on the screen, and then day I'll put 21, and then year I'll just put 08. So on the screen it shows December, Sunday, December 21st, 2008. So then I'll set the time right now. So on the screen it says it wants the hour, the minute, and then AM or PM. So right now it is 10.05. So you have 10 right there and then 05, and then AM. Oh, right, so there we go, you have the time right there. And this is basically what you'll see most of the time when you're not using the features of the pen.